Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm going to be showing you how to get the green bit and build a boat for treasure. First of all, you need the piggy secret badge and the arsenal secret badge. I ha have a video made on how to get the arsenal badge. And for the piggy one, you can honestly just look at Creekcraft's video. But first you need those two badges for this to work. And next, you're going to just make a simple key. You don't really need that much. You might even be able to make it like without anything at all. And all you need is six pieces of wood and a chair. I, I don't know the controls of this game, so I'm just going to change the way that I built it so that I can actually put the chair on. You need it to be facing like this. Make sure you rotate it so it's pointing up. I don't actually know if that matters. I just know that that's what I heard. And then it forms into a key. Pick up this key, and now you need to get to the waterfall, which I have this jetpack. I don't even know how I got the jetpack, but I have it. Yeah, we just have to get to this waterfall. It's guaranteed to be there on the little second section over here. It really doesn't matter how you get there. You can just build like a really simple boat and get there. But once you get here, this is why you need the arsenal badge actually, because if you don't have this, then the key will just like get rid of itself. It'll disintegrate inside the waterfall. You use the key on this little chest over here, which then unlocks another area over there. And over here, it looks like there's actually quite a few people. You, you have to work on a code. Now this code is completely random. And you have to play this little mini game to unlock that code. Okay, so it has just been confirmed that you have to look through the glass. And whenever they win, the numbers will appear on the screen. So that is all you have to do to get the code. Of course, you have to win the game. So you have to have a little bit of skill at this, which I don't have. But <laughs> that is how you get the code. Once you put the code in, it's a four digit code. And then you have to do a boss fight. We're about to get the code right now. I'm going to show you what you have to do. I didn't see it at first, but I, I see it now. If you're confused on what exactly the code looks like, then I'll show you. I'll like flip the video or whatever. Maybe it'll make it easier. Let's go, dude. We might actually get the golden version. If we're quick enough, we might actually get it. This person's actually like really good at this game. He did it. He did it. Okay. Seven, 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 one, nine. <gasps> we did it. Oh my god, okay, I, I think it was 1719, boss fight time. There's the piggy area, by the way. You have to activate the portal. So there is a computer that we have to fight. Shout out to this person, by the way. Shout out to Hey. This would not be possible without him. He did do a really easy puzzle, but he still did the puzzle that I don't think I could have done. Also, shout out to um, Mono. <laughs> they helped with the code that I didn't get right. <laughs> it is okay if we die. It only resets us i'm fairly sure so like we don't have to do the code again if we die we all just died okay yeah we just reset it starts off pretty easy then it starts like dropping the tiles which is still just as easy in my opinion now these are a nightmare to get through but you really just have to time it like that like you have to jump through the side it doesn't help that i have a really tall uh, avatar I would recommend like making your avatar smaller because then you have a lower chance of actually getting hit. Okay, this person might be our only hope. I'm about to die, but they're not. Oh, wait, does that not reset it if the if he survives it or did he die? <gasps> we still get the go. Okay, so we just need one person to survive and then we're good. This is giving me a uh, PVZ final boss vibes. It is a catchy song at least though, right? We made this so hard for ourselves. Why did we? We should have kept all the, like the floor tiles that disappear in the back. I also definitely recommend having a lot of people because that way you can technically have checkpoints. Because if one person survives and it goes to the next phase or whatever, we get to come back even after we die. So like if you suck at this, then you know, you can come back. How is this guy so good at this part though? <laughs> We're really lucky to have this guy on our team. By the way, it doesn't do damage. The hand hitting you doesn't do damage. Don't actually know what does more damage, this or falling in the void. Okay, let's see, let's see. Yes, you get your health back. When, when there's a checkpoint, you get your health back and you get to come back up here. Stay in the back. It's worth the health if you do take a hit because then we don't get stuck with like stuff in the middle. I'm really sorry to all the mobile players. I have played a few games on mobile. I haven't gotten any badges, but like I have played <laughs> quite a few games on mobile and it sucks. Eventually there's gonna be a self-destruct button up there and you want him to hit that. It also looks like these people are really low on health, which is unfortunate because they are way better. Oh, but that's the checkpoint, which means we're about to get it. We're about to get it. Yes. Wait, what? Oh, I think we have to destroy the whole platform first. We 
we did it! We beat the game. We just got the bit. Okay, okay, we really need to hurry. The bits, I see them. I see them right there. Okay, anyone who was in that server, thank you so much. We got the bits. I really hope I get the golden one. So, seven, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I wasn't actually 100% sure if that was the code or not. <laughs> so, I was a uh, little worried there, but <laughs> here we go. Oh, pause. That was close. That was really close. I could have just gone, gotten teleported right there. Mr. Boringsworth. Yes! I got the golden! Okay, that was so intense. Okay, that's the longest tutorial I've ever done. I'm, I'm sorry that it took so long. Oh my god. Thank you guys for watching. I can't believe I actually got a golden version. And these do, in my opinion, look the best out of everything, at least on my avatar. I'll definitely be equipping these. Thank you all for watching, and shadows out.